welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers. Our viewer asks, how can we cache expensive table calculations on strings between separate function calls in Lua? Let's break down the question. Our viewer has several functions that operate on strings, and one of these functions is particularly costly. It generates a table of values, but they want to ensure that this table is created only once for each unique string without exposing it to the global environment. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, going through some of the answers, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. To cache the results of our expensive function, we can use a table to store the results for each unique string. This way, we ensure that the table is created only once per string. We'll create a closure that maintains a cache table. This table will map each string to its corresponding result. Let's define our caching mechanism. Now we can modify our functions to use this caching mechanism. Each time we call the expensive function, it will check the cache first. With this setup, when we call fn1 or fn2 with the same string, the expensive function will return the cache table instead of recalculating it. This approach keeps the cache local to the closure, preventing exposure to the global environment while efficiently managing expensive calculations. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To cache expensive table calculations in Lua, we can use a simple caching mechanism. First, we create a cache table to store results. Then we define a function that checks if the result for a given string is already cached. If not, it performs the expensive operations and stores the result in the cache for future use. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To cache expensive table calculations in Lua, you can use a doEnd block or a self-executing function. The doEnd block keeps the cache local, while the self-executing function defines the expensive function name only once. The do end block is easier to read, while the self-executing function is more concise. Both methods effectively cache results to avoid repeated expensive calculations. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To cache expensive table calculations in Lua, you can use a technique called memoization. This allows you to store the results of function calls based on their parameters. You can find more information on memoization in the book Programming in Lua. 
There are also modules available, like Memoirs, that simplify this process. For additional solutions and insights, check out related discussions on Stack Overflow. And that's it, guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for and you found the answer. Guys, please hit subscribe if it helped, and I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you next time on another one of these technical videos. Have a good one.